we're going to talk about special populations. What are special populations? Well, there are groups of people who need either some special care, special direction, instructions on how to do the exercises. I'm going to talk about three different groups of people today. We're going to talk about pregnant women, senior citizens, and children. You may be asking yourself, can pregnant women do Pilates? The answer is yes. Can senior citizens do Pilates? Again, the answer is yes. How about children? Yes, of course. And today, I'll be showing you the different types of Pilates exercises that are appropriate for each group that we just talked about. Our first group we will talk about today are pregnant women. The answer is yes, pregnant women can do Pilates, but we must be very careful. When a mom is carrying a baby, her center of gravity changes. She's going to have a lot of weight forward of her center. And what you want to avoid during your pregnancy is spending too much time lying down on your back. So if you're pregnant and you would like to do Pilates, make sure you're taking the class with a qualified instructor who knows how to modify the exercises while you're pregnant. Another thing to avoid is lying on your stomach. That's going to be very uncomfortable for obvious reasons, right? And we don't want to squish that little baby, so we're going to stay lying on our back and just know that your balance may be off a little bit. And you want to keep the intensity low and enjoy the workout. It'll be great for you and the baby. Let's talk about our senior citizens. So that would be our grandparents, basically. Folks who are over the age of 60 and they want to participate in an exercise routine, you can refer them to Pilates. The best way to help a senior citizen do Pilates is to add a chair. This is going to help your client maintain their balance. Oftentimes, the senior citizens, as we age, we lose our balance and our spines start to get a little weak and we start to fold over and our muscles also get a little bit weak as we age. So Pilates is a great way to combat those signs of aging and keep you fit and healthy. A few exercises you can do with your seniors, sitting in a chair, you can add those light weights and tone the muscles. Senior citizens need to keep their muscles nice and toned and strong so they can go about their daily routine with ease and no pain. Additional exercises you can do with senior citizens in the chair would be anything seated where you can move our limbs. And this is going to protect your client from falling down. We all know that seniors have a hard time with balance, so have them sit in a chair and do their Pilates exercises, and they're going to feel great. All right, let's talk about yeah. children. Can children do Pilates? Yes, they can. Pilates is for all ages. When teaching Pilates to children, I recommend keeping the workout really fun. Use upbeat music, add props like a jump rope because kids have lots of energy and you can get that energy out by skipping rope because kids are really good at that. I would also incorporate some balls. Children love balls. Keep it fun and colorful. Keep those kids moving and give them a great workout. All right, let's wrap this up. We've talked about three groups of people, children, senior citizens, and women who are pregnant. They can all safely do Pilates workouts. Just be sure they are working with a qualified instructor who can modify the exercises. For our senior citizens, anyone over age 60, they need help with balance. Our children, ages 5 to 12, they need a lot of movement. We've got to keep it light and fun and so that they have a great time. Lastly, our pregnant women, well, we want to avoid lying on the stomach 
And then we also want to keep the amount of time they rest on their back limited as well. All right, thanks for tuning in today. If you know someone who fits into this special populations category, be sure to encourage them to do Pilates. They will feel great.